stop talking to the snake i released this message recently and you know i had written it for a long time and i realized you know in 2020 2021 and the years ahead there's gonna be a lot of snakes in fact the snake has always been you look at eve in the garden tempted by a snake tempted by a cunning animal um, that said to her you know did god really say you can't eat from the fruit and you got to understand one thing the context of what was really going on adam and eve were innocent children they were you know didn't have a consciousness of good and evil they just were um, and they were just loving the environment in an optimal environment and then you have this person coming and creating doubt and so and i want to encourage some people today that have been listening to the wrong voices I want you to know that God has the very best interests in mind. God has, in fact, um, thoughts of hope and peace and prosperity for you. But the enemy is always going to turn your attention from vision, from God, from you know those things to yourself. And so when you look at yourself, you realize you don't have what it takes to achieve those dreams, those visions. But what you do have is a creator in you, giving you the strength you need to take the next step. Eve, in fact, was deceived. She was distracted. She was um, pretty much conned. And she was isolated. She was having the wrong conversation. And so I believe that conversations really, really matter. Conversations can either deceive you or conversations can either direct you. Who are you talking to today? Are you talking to people that are, you know, taking you to the next level? Are you, are you talking to people that are very intentional about their growth? Are you um, talking to people that are, you know, really deep down, you know, happily married and happy with their family and their kids? Or are you talking to people that are miserable on the inside that, you know, just live paycheck to paycheck and just don't know what to do with their life? Or, and I'm not saying talking to those people are good or bad. What I'm saying is you've got to make an intentional choice of who your environment is. Sometimes um, we are what we are because of the choices we make, not necessarily because of our environment. And so I want to take um, just this moment to say to you that, you know, are you talking to a snake? Are you talking to somebody that is, you know, just not good for you? 